In this video you will learn what is function overloading inside TypeScript. And in a lot of different languages we have a feature which is called function overloading. And typically it is when you can create a single function, but it has different sets of arguments or different signatures. We have something similar inside TypeScript, but it works a little bit strange, because inside TypeScript we can have different signatures, but only a single implementation. And it is working like that only because TypeScript is not a separate language, it is being transpiled to JavaScript, which actually means our code must exist correctly inside JavaScript also. Let's have a look on the example. Typically here we will create a function, for example grid, where we want to provide a person. And this person can be either a string or an array of strings. And back we are getting either string with the grid or an array of greetings. And inside our function to narrow our type we can use type of. So here type of person. If it is a string, then we want to return a single greeting. It is hello, then comma and the person name. In other case we are checking if it is an array. So if array dot is array and we are providing inside our person, then we need to return an array, which means map. Here we are mapping through our person and we have a name for every single person and we are returning here hello, comma and name. And as we are getting an error that we are lacking the ending of our function, I want to throw an error here at the bottom. So throw new error, enable to greet. So this is how we could create a function inside TypeScript. Here I can console log this function grid and provide inside just a single person, for example Jack. As you can see in browser we are getting a string hello Jack. What will happen if this will be an array? So here we have our Jack, comma, John. We are closing our array and let's look in browser. We are getting an array of hello Jack and hello John. This implementation is totally fine, but we could leverage here overload function. What does it mean? As you can see here, our person parameter is either string or string array, and we are returning string or string array, which essentially means we can have two different implementations of this function for the string and for the string array. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing, it helps a lot. We could do that with function overloading in other languages, but not in the TypeScript. Inside TypeScript we are defining several signatures and only one implementation. How it will look like? Here on the top what I want to write is const grid and here we have a person which is a string and I want to return a string. What we tried to do here, we tried to write a signature and not a function. And as you can see here we directly get an error, cannot really declare block scoped variable grid. Why it happens? Because here we are talking about TypeScript when it is transpiled to JavaScript. You can't really define several same variables. This is why in order for it to work we must use here a function keyword and we must convert our error function to just plain function. So here we are defining function grid and on the top we are defining also function grid, but now on the first line we have just a signature for our function. As you can see we are not getting an error and here we define our first signature with string string. Now I can copy paste this code one more and define that our person is string array and here back we are getting string array. This exact feature is called function overloading, because essentially we are using a different set of parameters for our function. But now what we must do inside TypeScript, we must implement just a single function grid, which must cover all these cases with all types that we wrote here. What we can do here inside grid, instead of this code we can write unknown, because we don't really know what is coming here. And here back we will also get unknown. Which actually means here we are getting person which is unknown and here we are checking it with type of string. This is why our code is working fine. As you can see our person is string. Now we are checking our unknown for an array and when it is an array then we know that this is some array that we can map through and we can render here our string with name. And as you can see here our code is working, we are not getting an error. And when I am hovering this function I am getting grid person string array string array plus one overload. This one overload is exactly what we wrote here on the top. 
As you can see in browser, our code is still working, but now we implemented it with function overloading. So now the question is, do you really need to use function overloading often? No, you don't. It is totally fine to write your functions without that, and the implementation of function overloading inside TypeScript is not the best to my taste. And actually, if you are interested to learn more about TypeScript, I have a big video here about all features inside TypeScript that you need every single day. Don't forget to check it out.